Hey, let's delve deeper into lesson number 30. Hey, consider all the benefits you get for living in Babylon. Hmm. Repetitive, loveless, cheap sex, a stinking accumulation of mental and emotional garbage, frenzied and joyless grabs for happiness, trinket gods, magic show religions, paranoid loneliness. How about cutthroat competition and all consuming it never satisfied wants? Brutal temper, a brutal temper, uh, the impotence to love or be loved, divided homes and divided lives, small-minded, lopsided pursuits, and then the vicious habit of depersonalizing everyone into a rival. You have uncontrolled and uncontrollable addictions, ugly parodies of community. You know, living in Babylon is living in a pig pen, smeared with filth, filthy inside and out. But the amazing thing is Babylon has got you convinced that you're living the high life, you're living well, living a good, clean life. Living in Babylon, you forget how to be human. The scriptures read, women didn't know how to be women and men didn't know how to be men. Sexually confused, they abused and defiled one another. Women with women, men with men, all lust, no love. Gotta have that love. Look at the riches you gain, though. Oh, boy, you, you get to do what you want, when you want, to whom you want, not really caring about the consequences of your actions. Do unto others before they do unto you. And this is life in Babylon, right? Rampant evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy and their wanton killing and bickering and cheating. Look at them. They're mean-spirited, spirited, venomous, Fork tongued god bashers, bullies, swaggers, and sufferable windbags, and they keep inventing ways of wrecking lives, and they ditch their parents when they get in the way. Stupid, slimy, cold blooded, and they don't care. Worse, they hand out prizes to those who do the worst things best. This is why Babylon must be destroyed. People caught up in the city are in a dark spiral downward. Now, God loves the people in Babylon. Jesus died for the people in Babylon. God is kind, but he's not soft. In kindness, he takes us firmly by the hand and leads us into a radical life change. But in the end, Babylon, the eater of souls, is removed from ever deceiving the people again.